Now, the recent drought killed about 90% of livestock herds in Samburu County, and climate change is making a bad situation there even worse. However, the beadwork industry has become a hot spot for revenue in the dry north as the women are now empowering themselves to be more financially independent and contribute to their families' earnings through beadwork business. On our weekly segment, Women in Power, interviews Rose Ongoy tells us how bidding has empower, empowered women in the county economically. <laughs> Colors and regalia synonymous to the pastoralist communities adorn in what they know best. These women sing with pride and confidence, a reflection of the transformation these beads have brought into their lives. They're members of Kalama Conservancy in Samburu County. They carefully string the tiny colorful beads, mixing and blending the colors with visible skill. Bead making has been a traditional activity with no significant economic benefits, but the women are now translating the centuries-long traditions into income. For decades, women beaded necklaces used by Morans to book young girls for marriage. Nabiki Lesupar is a mother of eight. She used to keep livestock as the main economic activity. But with the changing climate, her sole source of livelihood has kept dwindling over time. Nabiki is among the 1,200 women from eight conservancies enrolled in Northern Rangelands Trust Trading Bidwork Business, a move that has assured her of a constant source of livelihood. She quickly became one of the star beaders in her group. Nabiki is now in charge of about 10 beaders. Her work revolves around gathering, sorting, and checking their work. Anything that doesn't meet her high standards is returned, as what the women craft must meet the customers' needs and expectations. We provide all raw material that is needed to make this product. We use glass beads from Czech Republic. Unique, intricately beaded jewelry ornaments, bangles, earrings, and key holders handmade by the women are sold both locally and as far away as Australia and the United States. We have a website. We have all our products there. So customers go to the website. They place, I want a belt. I want 30 belts. So the office receives that order. We cut 30 pieces of leather. We bring to the women. They make that and return to the office, finishing is done and send to the customer. <laughs> the digital platform has also helped cut off middlemen who exploit bidders. Nabiki praises the beadwork initiative for empowering them economically and cushioning them against the climate change shocks such as drought. <laughs> Many of the women have no formal education, but this budding industry has given them a new lease of life. Climate change has forced drastic changes to everyday life, with women in pastoralist communities the most affected. Despite the hardship, most of the women who are jobless can now earn an income through beadwork, which has improved their standards of living. What about you? At least now, I am able to feed and educate my children. <laughs> On average, each woman earns 5,000 shillings per week from the sales. So every Friday, a payment is done to the star bidder who then pays her group network. We've opened savings and credit accounts for them. They should not only live from hand to mouth, they save for their 
children and they also take loans to run. They have diversified their minds. They now run different businesses. There are some who have opened foodstuffs, others are running chicken projects. So you see now they are moving with the world. To now, can answer to my de la papo, capatia sisimalon, kidogodogo, el fukumi, chirichirinavo. Someone says, Navana to you, Numba, a mile in Gum, Kumben Raisi. Nashua loan, can sell Sasapo. To me, a panda, a dege. Now, someone is now not doing what to do in the summer peg out in the Navana dege. Like in Southern Mimi, Gia too. The women have also become the frontline advocates of environmental conservation. 5% of every sale goes back to each conservancy that these women are from as a conservation fee. Through this, it has really given a voice to our women. Our women are now feeling they are part of that conservancy. The conservancy is not for the men, it's not for the board, it is for all of us. That money they give will go somewhere, be the bursary that goes back to their kids, fuel that land cruiser which helps in operations of the conservancy, pays the rangers who are helping in, in the conservancy. <coughs> the Bedrock Initiative could lead to economic revolution in the region for these women. Beads represent their deep devotion to creating a better future for themselves, their children, families and communities. Rosongwe NTV. <laughs>